I had flown from London to Islamabad, arriving at the lovely Avari Express Hotel. Just living area. Should we go see what the view's like? Let's go see the view. Ready? What have we got? Oh. <laughs> Ring. You see that? Green and lush. You see? Oh, look at that. Lovely bit of nature. And through here. We've got the... Let's go into the bathroom. Da, 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 da. This is nice. Look at this. Check this out. Look at the shower. Whoop. It's big enough for like three people. I shall enjoy my time in there. What else have we got? What else? Let's see. Uh, what's this room? <gasps> oh, it's like a little kitchenette. It's very cute, isn't it? And then, got the bedroom. Look at this. Oh, it's great, isn't it? It's huge. It's actually huge. Now that is a bed I want to jump in right now. I didn't really sleep on the flight, which is a bit ridiculous because I was totally comfortable but I've basically got four hours before I'm being collected. So, ooh, oh, that, that feels so good. I've just got to have a shower, I have to have a shower because it's just been a long haul flight. I have to have a shower. And then I think somebody's picking me up on a motorbike. And I'll tell you something, right? I've got these motorbike trousers, which I got in the UK. And, um, okay, look, I'll be honest, come a bit closer. They're a little bit too tight. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm gonna get up, because I think I saw some brownies, chocolate brownies. Let's go, let's go. That's amazing. There's four of them. Look. Four. Oh, and there's fruit. Oh my goodness. I haven't even seen these. Look. I decided that a great way to see Islamabad would be on the back of a bike. So this guy Cameron is, is turning up today to take me on a little spin around Islamabad. So anyway, um, I've just got the motorbike trousers out and... Um, they feel very tight. I can't get the trousers over my butt. Stretch into it. <laughs> did, did you just hear what I just heard? I'm in. Look, they're weird. I feel like I've got dislocated knees. That's meant to be protection. I tell you what, though, I've met this guy. I'm sure he's lovely. When he turns up, I'm going to say to him, you better not crash. Okay, this is day one of my trip. Loads of people have said to me, don't get on the back of a bike. I haven't listened, because I don't generally listen to people that often. If I've got an idea in my head. Cameron promptly arrived and brought with him a helmet and a padded jacket. And after a quick chat, we headed out. I felt reassured to learn that he is in fact a champion when it comes to bikes. Motocross. Yes. Yeah. Motocross uh, and uh, win adventure bike. Wow, yeah. no yeah, way. Yeah, 600. <gasps> Look, oh my goodness. This bike looks bigger than me. Right, helmet going on. Go on, come on. Yeah. I actually feel like I need a ladder. No ladder. <laughs> no ladder? What? Yes. 
Wait for it. Joke. We both settled into our respective driving and filming jobs and Cameron started by taking me past the impressive Islamabad landmark, Faisal Mosque. I'll share my visit there later. I was keen to escape the heat for a while, so we headed to the edge of the city to embrace some countryside views. Wow, it's so green! What an introduction to Pakistan! Tell you what, best way to see Islamabad. Here we go. This is a, a fire season. Ah, are you a fireman? Firefighter. Yes, wow. So you're busy, busy in the summer. Yes. <laughs> I could see that Islamabad was green, but I wondered just how green. And this answered my question. As we drove on, I realised my idea of what I thought Pakistan looked like was totally wrong. So, my first surprise. My second surprise was that Cameron decided to take me to his place of work. Heading around the back, I realised just how huge this fire station was. We ventured inside one of the buildings to see even more. And we stopped by one of the most iconic things seen in many fire stations around the world. There was no question about it. Cameron had a job to do. He has to do that pole. I've got to see this. Okay. Look, look, he's going, he's going, he's going up. Cameron is going up. Running. This is as if there's a 999 call. <laughs> That is amazing. I love it. Come in. Look at this place. Can I take this off, Cameron? Can you get that off? Forget the pole. I had my own personal emergency going on. Oh, <laughs> my head is on fire. Take <laughs> the fire out on my head. <laughs> Cameron wanted to show me the control room, but something made me feel slightly like they weren't expecting visitors. Hello! Looking busy, looking busy, everyone's looking busy. Hello guys, hi. This is amazing. Look, they will, they will jump with their hands on the yes, phone, yes. straight away. <laughs> well, that surprise visit woke them up. Next up, I got the chance to check out some of the fire trucks. Look at this. 92 model and Japanese children and gift. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Woo. Ready for action. Ready yeah. for action. It's cool, isn't it? I feel like a kid. Cameron and his crew kindly showed me the onboard kit from things like generators and boom lights to cutters winches, and something I didn't expect. Snake catcher. Snake catchers? I'll rescue you. No way. Snake catchers. Yes. <laughs> wow. As we were about to look at a final piece of kit, I didn't realise I was in for a surprise. <laughs> Which key is it? Oh, oh. fire school oh. call. Let's go see. Oh, oh. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are we Oh, here we go, here we go. He didn't come down the pole. He could have come down the pole. <laughs> Ramzan is where Montin's Ramzan is. Now it's our turn to steam out. 
After all that action and my adrenaline levels having been high all day, suddenly I could feel jet lag setting in. Cameron decided to take me to Magala Hills for a rather spectacular view of Islamabad before the sun set. There's a mask. Oh, look at that. There's a little bench here to sit. Oh, gosh, that's dreamy. Look at that. Let me share with you the views. I'd had a lovely time with Cameron and I was very, very grateful for his input. Now, I want to transport you to the Faisal Mosque and give you a close-up view. And I went with tour guide Saeed from Ultimate Adventure Tours. So the shoes are off, hair's covered. I tell you what, it feels so nice having bare feet on the tiles, it's so cooling. The sun's going down there now, so we're just going to get a final peak before it gets dark. This moment proved to be a real turning point for me. Arriving in a country that Western media consistently says is dangerous, it's hard not to be nervous. I'd had a great day with Cameron, but that was easy. I had been away from busy places and crowds. This moment was the one that defined my views of the Pakistani people. The thing that struck me vividly were the families there and the kids running around. Happy and free, I could feel my shoulders dropping and finally I felt like I could enjoy the delights of this superb mosque. It's the sixth largest mosque in the world. Uh, it's surrounded by these incredibly beautiful tree-laden mountains. The sun is setting, it's dreamy, can't wait to see inside. I've got friends at home who are Muslim, but I realised this was the first moment in my life I'd spent a decent amount of time at a mosque where I was able to witness a call to prayer. Chatting with locals and seeing the sheer joy on their faces set the tone for the rest of my trip. Yeah.